Alright, we're back here. I guess we're gonna go talk to Kublai. Maybe he has some raging confidence. <laughs> um, I also just want to say thank you to, um, one of the commenters who gave me, like, an idea for grinding. Um, there's, like, an island called the Ugly Duckling Island. Um... Which has monsters that give loads of experience, so I'll probably do that next time. Like, after this session, I'll probably grind there. Not too much, but just a little bit. So I don't have to, like, spend hours grinding. I can just do it really quick. But let's go and talk to Kublai. Maybe he has some answers for us. I'm guessing he... Yeah, he's the one with the confidence. Holy boy, man, look at your locket, will you? It's going like nobody's business. I'm sure it wasn't doing that before. Holy shit! <laughs> so it's Kublai. Well, I guess he does have a lot of confidence. Do you speak my name, boy? Why then, I take it you've got a cure for my dragon. Uh, not just yet, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, are you? Well, don't be. At least you're trying. Which is more than I can say for the rest of my scurvy crew. Uh, actually, Captain Kublai, sir, we were wondering if we could ask you for a favor. Out with it then, boy. I don't much care for meekness. Well, there's somebody who's had a piece of their heart stolen, and we were wondering if we could use a piece of your heart to help them. That's right, after all, not so many people have got as much confidence as you. I don't care much for flattery either, Fairy, I was gonna say flattery again. <laughs> what would you have me do? You don't need to do anything, just stand there while Ollie Boy waves his wand and it'll be over before you know it. Very well. Do your worst! You're acting like I'm gonna fucking stick a sword in your stomach. No, we're just taking your heart, brother. So I guess that's one of the new, uh, one of the other, uh, pieces of, uh, pieces of hearts things. So now we have, uh, confidence. I thought we had confidence already. I'm probably thinking of something else. What have you done to me, boy? What is this feeling? It is, it is not bad. It's like sex. Not bad. <laughs> Jeepers, this sure is a big hunk of confidence. You're not wrong, Ollie boy. That lock of yours is fit to burst. Now let's head over to Motorville and mend that Denny lad's heart broken heart, shall we? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. Thanks a lot, Captain Kublai, sir. It was nothing, boy. You could have taken more from all I cared. Well, before you part, take these. I found them at Pile Plunder. They mean nothing to me, but I dare say they might sit well in that magic book of yours. Oh shit, he's gonna give us spells. Quake? Hell yeah! Seek fortune. Nice. Hey, there are pages from the Wizard's Companion with new spells for me to try. Thanks, Captain Kublai. You're the best! You're the best captain I've ever met! <laughs> Tap by her face. Right, time to get moving, Ollie boy. Motorville. Motorville, here we come! See ya, Bart. Barth Bartholomew? It's a cat. It's like a pirate from Xenogears. Uh, gateway away. Oh, I can metamorph my guy. Maybe I should do that. I'm dwindling my forces here, metamorphing everyone up. But it'll be fine. They'll be, uh, fully leveled up. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Oh! My leg! You hit me, lady. Come over here. You just—you're not. You're just gonna walk away from this. You're just gonna walk away. What a bitch. Okay. You're holding up traffic, bro. Get moving. Um. My good boy, Gooey Han. He—he's getting—he's getting a sun drop. Oh shit! Look at Hoggle Boggle. Holy fuck. Um, who do we want? Another healer? I don't think we want another healer.
I think the poison kind of attacks would be cool. So I guess we'll go with this guy. Got my bro gooey hand, level one up. Shit, he's like a demon! He's a demon! What a boss. Cool. Alright, now we're going to go ahead. I, I keep wanting to use the D-pad to, to move and the R1 to change the camera. But we're going to go ahead and uh, head to Denny. Denny, my man. Don't worry, man. You, It's okay. You're not... I'm just going to point it out to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it straight. I'm going to tell you the rules. They're not rules, but I'm going to tell you what's what. In the future, you're going to make the first Denny's. And that's how the... The franchise starts so you should be proud of yourself you're not gonna become the pro athlete like you want but you're gonna be you're gonna be making a lot of money that's all I can say right oh Ollie boy time to hand over that confidence so here you go give heart we're going to give him confidence the confidence to live life once more Sorry. Huh? What? What are you doing? Myrtle? Denny! I can feel it! The pain in his heart! It's disappearing! Woof! <laughs> hey boy, you're here too! I'm so sorry. I've caused everyone so much trouble. So much trouble. <laughs> it's not your fault. You were, uh... My... My heart, it feels so light, like a weight has been lifted. You did this, didn't you? He did, and he did the same for me, Denny. Oliver knows I use magic spells. Huh, <laughs> I'd be surprised hearing that from anyone but you, Myrtle. Wait, no, I, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Oliver, he doesn't actually believe her. Woof, woof, woof. It's a dog. It's dog noises. You're right, Genghis. We need to get back in training. But, but Denny, your leg. Are you sure you should... Huh? That? It was just a scratch. I can't sit around feeling sorry for myself because of that. The longer I sit around, the faster the airs get. I can't let them beat me. I have to make the cut next time. <laughs> That's the Denny I know. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, but I won't need it. Come on, boy. It's training time. I can feel myself getting slower by the second. Woof. Dog noises. Dog, go! Crikey, he, he doesn't look this too slow to me. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Looks like he's forgotten all about his injury. That's the power of the heart. You did it again, Oliver. Thank you so much. It wasn't me, Myrtle. It was Denny. His heart was strong enough to make it. I just gave it a helping hand. You really are a hero, hero, aren't you? Maybe even a handsome prince. Uh, cut it out, Myrtle. Hey, I sure hope Denny makes the state championships, don't you? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> Won't be easy, but something tells me he'll make it. Of course he will. Especially now we've helped him on the way. Oh no, I have to get back to the store. Huh? What's wrong, Myrtle? I was in the middle of opening up. Miss Layla will be so mad. Good thing back in the 60s, 60s they rarely had robbers, so they didn't raid that shit. <laughs> you were working? Jeepers, you need to get back there. Bye, Myrtle. <laughs> She's just as easily distracted as someone else I can mention. And he just stares at her ass like that. Did you see that? Did you see that? He was totally staring at her ass. Oh, yes. And who might that be? And <laughs> Trippy's like, I don't fucking need this shit. <laughs> Trippy's just done. He's, he's done. <laughs> so, I guess we can go back now. Oh. Okay. I thought we could just, uh, gateway, but fine, we'll go see how Myrtle's doing. Another heart saved. 
And now we fixed Hengri, hopefully. We're gonna go back and see him, hopefully. We're gonna see how he's doing, maybe he can give us a ride, hopefully. Maybe we can be best friends and he'll become my airship, hopefully. <laughs> Yo, everything all right? <gasps> P! I'm so sorry, Miss Layla. I didn't mean to leave the store like that. Myrtle, dear, where have you been? I was worried about you. Look, it's Esther and the other one. <laughs> and who might you be, sweetie? They can see her? What the fuck? This late little lady's been around an awful lot lately. Eh, what little lady? There you are. Hello, Oliver. I've been looking for you. P. P, she's here somewhere? <laughs> Is she a friend of yours, Oliver? Then I'll leave you two and get back to work. See you soon. Well, it looks like you found who you were looking for, dearie. I'll leave you with Oliver, shall I? Thanks, Miss Layla. Have a nice day. It's so fucking polite. Way to go, Oliver. Oliver, I have something to tell you. I'm sorry, P. What is it? Who's he saying sorry to? <laughs> Oliver, the slithery one, the doggy one, and the bony one. They're coming. The keepers. You have to be careful. I... I don't understand, P. Yes, you do. Just be careful. Okay, P. I'll try. What? Who were you just talking to? Oh, gee, I'm sorry. You don't know about P yet, do you, Swain? She's a funny little girl I know. I see her here in Motorville sometimes. I've seen her in my dreams, too. But we can't see her. Huh? <laughs> I didn't even get to read that shit. Huh? She's gone. She always does this. What's wrong? Did she disappear again? Uh-huh. And I didn't understand what she, what she was trying to tell me. I think I get it. Get what, Mr. Drippy? Well, Myrtle and that lot can't, can't see a lot from our world, right? So that means Peek he probably can't see us a lot either, ain't it? It's the same, but the other way around, you mean. That's right. It's not so weird when you think about it, eh? Us not being able to see someone from another world. Uh, it's not? Oh, who cares? As long as you can see her, eh, Oliver? Yeah, I'm more worried about going and seeing how Tengri's doing. If your guess was right, Oliver. Ain't it, though? We've sorted Denny out so Tengri should be able to fly again. Tidy! You're right. Let's go check on Tengri. Hell yeah! Gonna go check on Tengri, that bitch baby flying in the skies! Alright, gonna go check on Tengri. Why am I going to meet Kublai? Why don't I just go check on Tengri? Tengri's the one who matters here, not Kublai, the sky pirate. Fuck him! Hey, Tengri's gone. Where's, where's my dragon buddy? My dragon buddy's gone! Kublai, what'd you do to him? Hi there, Captain Kublai. Do you know where Tengri is? Yeah, uh, you come at a good time, boy, you see? That sound. Uh. Tengri! Tengri! Uh. 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 <laughs> what a friendly dragon. Behold, he's a sight for sore eyes and no mistake. He stopped him he snubbed sniveling and took to the skies again not long after you left. Like magic it was. Wait. You meddling dogs did something while my back was turned, didn't you? Well it's a little hard to explain, but we went to another world and Oliver helped the Tengri there get better. All you need to know is that Oliver's magic is the reason that Tengri is flying again. Gra ha 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 Still spout nonsense, I see, but no matter. You did as you said you would, I'll not question your methods. 
Oh, hee hee, hee hee, hee hee. I had no idea the real Tengri was so lively. This is how dragons should be. Seems he's, seems he's taken a liking to you, and after all my hard work. Gah, so be it. I know when I'm beaten, he's yours. You're his master now, lad. You and he both knows it, know it already. What? Really? But... What's the matter, worm? Not good enough for ya? N no, sir. Thank you very much, Captain Kublai, sir. The laughter. <laughs> That's settled in. Tengri, lad, say hello to your new master. Kya! Kya! Dragon noises. Hee <laughs> hee. That's like I'm gonna say from now on. Hee <laughs> hee. Nice to meet you too, Tengri. Likewise, I'm sure. Alright, let's go find the magic stones. Send a southward course, lad. You'll happen upon Solitary Isle soon enough. Yeah! Dragon noise. <laughs> we're flying! Oh, tiny! We're actually flying! <laughs> it's nice and comfy up here. Come on, Tangri, <laughs> let's fly! Away we, we go! Shit, that's pretty ballin'. Fly the friendlier skies. Flippin' Nor, is this high enough for you, Ollie boy? Righto, since the smallest mistake up here will result in certain death, I reckon now's a good time to give you Captain Drippy's Don't Crash Course in Dragon Flying. Don't worry, Mun, if you survive the first five minutes, there's nothing to it. You just train, change the directions with L, the, the stick, and use that other stick to do stuff. Oh, and when you want to plonk your feet back on the solid ground, press X. You'll see a circle there. Use L to shift the circle to where you want it, and then press X to land on that spot. Oh, that's kind of cool. You want to change your mind and want to carry on flying, press circle. Just be sure to watch the color of the circle. If it's blue, you're all right to land, but if it's red, you have to find somewhere else. Once you had enough of being back on the boring old ground, honk on that dragon horn pirate face gave you, and Tengri will come flap it. Just press that button and you can do shit. So let's fly. I'm flying a fucking dragon! I'm sorry, I'm like, I was waiting for this, like, because I really wanted to fly on the dragon. Oh my god, this is so cool! Holy shit, I'm flying a fucking dragon! Oh, okay, so that's what it means. So let's go there. Oh man, Oliver plays that like a boss. Oh, this is awesome. Fuck, fuck, uh, uh going on the seas. I got a dragon. So I guess we gotta go south over there. <laughs> no problem here, I can fly. Woo, this is so cool. This is awesome. It's like, you know, like in other RPGs, you get. You know, airships and stuff, but a dragon, like, an, a dragon as your airship, pretty much, is really cool. Like, that is so cool. I'm really glad they did that for this game. Man, he looks so happy, too. Man, this is awesome. Flying the skies on my beautiful purple dragon, my favorite color. Man, Tengri, you're the man. You're the man. Alright, let's check out this island now. As the fucking music takes over and kicks some ass. Alright. Cracky, look at this monument by here. Well, this didn't make it here by accident. It must have had something to do with the stones. Hey look, there's something written on it. What the fuck? Uh, show Nazgan chart, okay. Oh my god, I do not have any writing short shit show. I don't know what this is saying. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can decipher this for you. Um, if you want to reach the strip club, take a right at Castaway Cove. Okay, we know where we're headed. 
Um, I don't know what this says, honestly. T. T. T A. Tath. What the fuck? Oh my god. What's this funny writing? Now it's getting in it. It probably tells us where them stones are hidden it and all. Should I decode for it? Yes, please. Alright, I'll give it a sec. Ahem. It says the secret that the map imparts lies not without but in its heart. And that means why exactly? It means if I'm not very much mistaken that the stones ain't on this island. Well thank you, I never would have fucking guessed. What? You heard me. The secret where they're hidden lies with not without, it said. Meaning not on the surface of the map for all to see. And I reckon that bit about it being in its heart means the real loca locations of the stones are lurking somewhere inside the flipping thing. So how do we get them out? Oh, well, I don't flip it. No, do I? Calm down, Drippy. It's not as if we have the map at the moment. Looks like we better go and talk to old Kublai again. Giddy up, Tengri! Uh, so we're- we came here- what? We came here... to go back to Kublai. That's great! So, hey, I can see, uh, I can see that place from- from here, over there. Drippy's place. So I guess we're heading back to Kublai after leaving him. Just to go to this island. Oh well. Look at me fly- this is some- like, that's some great animation for, like, for, um, flying. Like, you see, like, his whole body's moving and everything like that, and his tail's flipping and everything. That's such good animation! Damn, that's awesome. Like, really good animation. Like, you can see how, like, the wings, like, are causing, like, the weight to shift on his body, and that's awesome. But anyway, let's just go and talk to Bly. Uh, I'm done freaking out about um, animation. <laughs> uh, right there. All right, Kublai, we kind of have a problem here. Uh, we uh, we heard there was a strip club, and we. Um, we found out it's not actually at the strip club, so we need to actually know. I think you gave us the wrong map. I think that's the problem here. Ugh, I know you have your needs, uh, but... We have a, m a mission to fulfill, and we can't go uh, walking around into strip clubs and such. You understand, right? Thank you. We haven't even talked to him yet, but here we go. Tell me, boy, did you find those magic stones? We were gone for, um, all of five minutes? So, I don't think so. Well, uh, not exactly. We did find a big old monument, though. It was... The point is, Mr. King of the Pirates, is that there were no stones there. Not a single one. I reckon you better give us another look at that map of yours. Hmm? Curious. And you searched thoroughly? Thoroughly? We're trying to save the world, man! Of course we search flippin' thoroughly! So angry. 